Hey, my name is Hubwood and in this video we will talk about the performance issues of the Gigabyte G5 with the, and this is important, RTX 3050 and how to fix it. So it's specifically about the G5 GD. Okay, so I'm assuming that you are actually using this laptop right now and probably wondering why games and 3D applications are so stuttery and sluggish and the FPS or the performance in general isn't what you've expected. And in 90% of the cases, this is because you are using a broken BIOS version. Actually, your laptop probably came with this broken BIOS version in the first place. I know, that sucks. So let's begin with checking your BIOS version. To accomplish that, we are going to use the popular tool called CPU-Z. I will post a download link in the description in case you don't have that app already. After you've installed it, open it up and switch to the second tab called Mainboard. In this tab, look for the section called BIOS. And here it should show you your BIOS version, which will probably be something between FB01 and FB07. If you're actually using FB03 or FB09, which is the newest version, this video won't help you, as you probably don't have a BIOS-related performance issue. Another problem is that the versions between FB04 and FB07 seem to have severe issues with the CPU and GPU performance. So if you're using one of these, you need to upgrade to the newest BIOS version as of the making of this video, which is version FB09. I will post the link directly to the Gigabyte download in the description. If this link should stop working one day, just go to the English website and in the support section look for the Gigabyte G5 GD and if by the time you're watching this video they offer a newer version you might as well try this instead. After downloading the zip, extract it and open the folder. Inside you will find two readme info files and a folder called FB09. Open the folder and start the flashme win x64.bat file. Make sure your laptop is connected to the power adapter first because otherwise you won't be able to continue. Now make sure not to shut down the PC while running the BIOS downgrade or upgrade. This is important, otherwise you could break your laptop. PS, I am not responsible for any damage this action could apply to your laptop. In this process the laptop will restart itself. And after flashing the BIOS it will restart again. It also might take a few seconds before it reboots, so don't worry. Don't touch it until it started Windows again. And after that you should be fine. Go open some games and see if it got any better. By the way, you will need to do that to use Windows 11 because the BIOS versions FB01 to FB03 won't work with Windows 11 like at all and cause an immediate freezing of the laptop. PS, I actually made a full review on this laptop. I will link to it in the end card in a few seconds, so definitely check that one out too. Cheers! Now, thanks for watching. If this video helped you in any case, just feel free to like it and subscribe to the channel. That helps a lot. Thank you. See you next time. Bye bye and tschüss.